Hey guys, my name is Arthur and today I would like to show you how you can verify your smart contract inside the blockchain explorers. So I think it uh, makes sense to verify your contract whenever you want to drop some NFT collection or if you would like to build some DeFi uh, product, it's great to always verify your smart contract code because then everybody can check the code inside the blockchain explorer and even interact with your smart contract straight from the interface of the blockchain explorer. So here I have a um, very simple uh, contract that represents NFT and I will deploy it right now to the Rinkeby test network. So it's a test network, it simulates how the real blockchain works. The only difference is that I don't have to use um, the, the regular if for the deployment of this smart contract. So I have my uh, MetaMask setup for the Rinkeby. I have some uh, fake uh, eaters. If you want to get some fake eaters, just Google Fawcett uh, and the name of the test network, which would be Rinkeby. You have to just copy your address and uh, then specify it in some form and you will get the fake if. So uh, I have here my contract and I will deploy it right now to um, the Rinkeby be nest uh, test network so here i just compiled um, all, all this code uh, before and if i click the deploy um, i would be asked with my metamask to sign that um, transaction so i will confirm it um, and so we have to wait a moment for the contract to be actually deployed here we can see that it's pending um, so of course it takes a while once uh, the contract actually will show up on the blockchain so um, for verification of the smart contract, uh, we need to have the code of the smart contract. And whenever we have a very simple smart contract with just a customized code here, then it's super simple. You have to just uh, copy uh, the code of your contract. However, it's a bit more complicated if you have to import a lot of contracts like I did here. So I have here um, the ERC-1155 smart contract. I have also some additional code like Onable or Strings. Um, these uh, these um, files are uh, including some uh, special functions. So for instance, I have the only owner modifier uh, and so on. So of course, when you do some real uh, world example, you can have here multiple imports and actually um, then preparing the smart contract code is um, a bit annoying because you have to go to the each smart contract code and then copy this code. Of course, the ERC-1155 um, can contain some other smart contracts that can, can be inherited from. So this um, single um, file of the smart contract can be really, really uh, big. So uh, we can um, do it manually, but of course we are programmers, so it's good that uh, we can find a way to simplify our lives. So I will show you in the moment how this works. So um, I will go right now to the Rinkeby. So here I will just type the address of my smart contract. And you can see that here is just a um, regular smart contract and we cannot do anything about it. Um, it's, it's just, uh, you know, we can see just some events uh, and there's no option to actually uh, interact with the smart contract. So here we have the option to verify and publish. And usually it's, it's um, the, the every blockchain explorer has it. No matter if you are on the Polygon, if you are on the Binance Smart Chain, RingB or Mainnet, uh, usually the blockchain explorers should have the verify and publish options. Sometimes you have to sign in um, to the um, uh, blockchain explorer application. Sometimes you can do it um, uh, without logging. And here you have to specify the contract contract address, then we have the compiler type, I will go with the single file, I think that's the easiest option. And then we have to specify information about the compiler version. So the compiler version is 0.87. Um, so I will just uh, specify the very same uh, version. It's super important to have it that way because if you che uh, check here the other compiler version that you really used in your Remix or in your other tooling for the smart contracts, then it will not work. Here you can also specify the MIT license. Of course, you can choose some other license. And it's very important that if you choose some uh, license here, then inside the code of your smart contract, you actually have to have the SPD 
Matrix uh, license identifier, which matches the option that you uh, selected here. So let's go next. And in the next step, we have, of course, the contract address, the compiler, and we have also the optimization thing. Um, and this is also really important. If you compiled your smart contract with some optimizations, you also have to provide this information here. However, if you don't have any um, optimizations like I did, then you don't have to match anything. And here is the tricky part because we have to in insert here the whole code of the Solidity smart contract. And as I told you, we have here three imports and it's really important to grab the code of these smart contracts as well. And it's really nice of the Remix IDE because we have here the possibility to learn, uh, to install some plugins. So we have the plugin manager here and we can just uh, get the flattener. And the flattener um, is a really nice plugin that lets you uh, get the, all the code from all the contracts that you imported and uh, combine it into single file. You have also here the Etherscan contract verification. However, I decided to not show you this plugin because I think this method with the flattening the smart contract, it's just more general because you can use it even on Polygon or other blockchain uh, explorers. So I will show you uh, exactly how the flattener works. So once you install the flattener, it should be um, here uh, as an activated plugin, activated module. And here you have a new, um, a new um, icon on the Remix IDE, which you can click here and you can get the um, code that is flattened into the clipboard. So right now I clicked and the flattened contract copied to the clipboard. And if I go here, you can see that I have here not only the contract code of the game items, but also we have tons of other stuff um, that was uh, used by our code. So it's super important to have this version here. And uh, here you can see that we have all the relevant code um, inside. So we have the Solidity contract code below. Um, the constructor arguments, it's not relevant relevant for this tutorial. I will submit here also information about the license. And then we can hit that we are not a robot. And after some seconds, we should see here the confirmation that the contract is successfully verified. So now if we go um, to the um, blockchain explorer, you can see that we have additional tab called contract. And here anybody can verify the code of our smart contract. So for, for instance, somebody can audit it and make sure that our smart contract really does uh, what we claim it does. And there's no any uh, shady uh, things that we are doing inside the smart contract or there's no security issues with um, the code. And um, this is of course great for auditing. However, we also get the benefit of um, um, the interface that, for instance, here we have um, the read and write contract possibilities. So, for instance, here we can um, check, for instance, the balance uh, of, uh, of the color. So, let's say I can, for instance, um, copy my address here. I can submit here the token ID too, and I can query the blockchain and get um, the response from the blockchain the same way as we have inside the Remix IDE. So anybody who knows the contract address uh, of the smart contract can start interacting with that smart contract straight from the blockchain explorer. So um, of course, this is fine if we want to read. However, there is also no problem with writing to the contract. So first of all, we have to click the connect um, to the web tree. Uh, then of course, we would be asked about this, uh, I will just uh, connect uh, my uh, metamask to this page. And now for instance, I can just mint uh, the new NFT. So for instance, I'll can, I can here submit my address, I can submit here the token ID one, which shouldn't work because we already have this token. Um, and here we can specify the amount. So um, here, of course, um, I, I will try just to mint a new token because we have the token ID five. And then uh, we want to also mint uh, 1000 copies of dust token. I'm asked uh, right now by the MetaMask to um, to call this smart contract. And here, if I will just confirm, 
And now you can see that we have a new mint um, transaction. And if we go to the contract and if we go to the read contract again, then we can uh, just issue the balance off and here provide the token five. Uh, then you can see that we just minted a new um, token. So that's all. Thanks for today. If you have some questions or some propositions for some future videos, feel free to ask for them in the comment section. So see you on this channel.